Hey guys, Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV and in this video, I'll share with you guys my unboxing and my review of the Asus VivoBook 15 K513. So keep watching. Now the unboxing process was pretty straightforward as the box comes in a brown shipping box and an included bag inside. Nice. Then there's another brown shipping box with the ASUS VivoBook in front. Opening the box, you'll immediately find the laptop, the HDD kit, the user guide and manual. Then you'll find the power adapter and the 3-pin plug. Now first, let's look at the specs. The variant that I have is the 15-inch variant with the Intel Core i5 1135G7 which is the 11th Gen Tiger Lake processor. It has a dedicated NVIDIA GeForce MX350 with 2 gigs of VRAM, 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 512 gigs of PCIe storage and it has Wi-Fi 6 wireless internet connectivity and Bluetooth 5.0. Now starting from the design and build, my first impressions when I held the laptop was how premium it felt which has always been the case for ASUS laptops as they have always made sure on their high quality premium build. Now it weighs at 1.7 kgs which was great even for a laptop of this size. It also has a 17.9 mm thin and the reason why the laptop is so light and durable is because of its combination of aluminium alloy and high quality plastic build which comes in several colors for you guys to choose from where the one which I have is called the aluminium silver then it's also available in indie black and hearty gold. So yes, this means that this would be a great option for those of you who are in the creative industry or even a younger demographic as I personally think that these are the kind of people who would appreciate the overall design and the aesthetics of the laptop. For example, just look at the very cool standout color blocking enter key as the ASUS VivoBook 15 does indeed add flair and dynamism into your daily computing. Now let's talk about the laptop screen. The VivoBook 15 that I have is the 15.6 inch variant screen as mentioned earlier where it comes with a 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution with the Nano H display with minimal bezels about 6.1 mm with a 720p HD camera on top and a 85% screen to body ratio. And what's nice is the fact that the screen also had great viewing angles up to 178 degrees wide. So this would be beneficial when it comes to sharing a screen with your family while we are all stuck at home. So when it comes to consuming content on the screen, it has the ASUS True to Life video enhancing tuning system that gives you better clarity, color, contrast and dynamic range. So video playback look natural with no issues and smooth streaming with Netflix and YouTube as well. And you don't have to worry about consuming too much content on the laptop as it has a TUV Rainland iCast certified that is hugely reducing the blue light and of course the anti-flicker technology to ensure that the eyes don't get too tired when it comes to watching videos and of course video editing for a very long time or even playing games as well. Now as for the laptop's keyboard, the typing experience was nice with its dish-shaped keys felt very smooth and the keys travel just nicely and it kind of slides between from key to key which is something which I've really never experienced with any other laptops that I've tested. Then the backlight keyboard is also hands down the brightest that I've ever seen or even reviewed in this channel where there are three levels of brightness adjustments. Then the trackpad is smaller than what I'm usually used to which I thought it would be an issue but it had worked towards my advantage as it also means that going from one end to the other is way much faster when it comes to navigating on the screen and it also worked very accurately as well when it comes to zooming into websites and images as well. And speaking of the trackpad, I like how the fingerprint sensor is over here instead of where usually on other laptops it tends to be placed towards the power button. Because I don't know about you but for me, I feel that the first place when you place your finger is on the trackpad, no? Do let me know what you guys think or what you feel about this at the comment section below. So yes, accessing the ASUS VivoBook 15 has never been easier or even more secure because I feel that with this in-display fingerprint sensor on the touchpad itself and of course Windows Hello, you'll surely be able to log in very quickly as there's no need to type in your password every time you log in. So yes, with just a single touch, 
it is all it takes. Now, as for the laptop spots, on the left, there is two USB 2.0 ports, and then on the right, there is the audio jack combo that can be used for headphones or microphones as well. Then there is the HDMI port, a USB Type-C 3.2 port, and a micro SD card reader. So yes, with this, you don't have to live with a dongle life with this laptop. Now, as for the laptop's audio, I've always loved and appreciated the collaboration between Asus and Harman Kardon. As I'm kind of person who loves to do fast editing on Premiere Pro, thank you, Muhammad, without using any headphones or even listening to music, which I do on my video script. And although the dual speakers were placed underneath, right here and here, the sound projection was great, clear, and loud indeed. And here is a quick sound test. And the good news is that you don't have to get an external microphone if you're making video or conference calls as the laptop's microphone has the AI train technology to reduce noise and it also has the clear voice mic which enhances speeches as well. Now, in terms of the laptop software, it is shipped with Windows 10 Home. And the good news is that multitasking and using the laptop for spreadsheets, emails and browsing was very smooth and seamless. As for video editing, I have managed to edit my 6K resolution Blackmagic RAW smoothly with playback set to 1 over 4, which means that editing 4K files would definitely be a breeze thanks to the Tiger Lake processor from Intel. And during my heavy gaming test on Forza Motorsport 7, went great with settings at dynamic render quality at low, with a resolution of 1280 by 720 resolution when I was playing the game. And since I'm constantly working between my phone and the PC, I found that the PC and the phone integration through the link to my ASUS to be extremely handy when it comes to getting notifications, easily transferring files and photos, making it super convenient for me. And of course, if you guys are a student or a business people alike who can really appreciate features like this, especially when it comes to the screen mirroring, the remote file access and the screen extender as well. Now, another feature that ASUS introduced in the new 11th Gen VivoBook series is the ASUS Intelligent Performance Technology, AIPT, which is an ultra-efficient thermal design and power-saving solution where it uses the ASUS exclusive algorithms combined between five and nine smart sensors. Then there's the aerodynamic ice blade fan design and a 65 watt power supply to intelligently increase the CPU's performance and improve stability while allowing an all-day battery life and of course a quieter and a cool laptop. So yes, with this ASUS Intelligent Performance Technology, your laptop could run in high performance status as long as you need. Now, as for the laptop's battery, it comes with a 3-cell 42-watt-hour battery and during my heavy usage of video editing, sending out emails, that can be quite heavy, and getting some video playback at the end of the day got me roughly about 6 hours and 15 minutes. So yes, you will surely get more if you don't do so much of a video editing as just by doing typical office productivity mode will give you roughly close to 7 hours. Now, in conclusion, I feel that the ASUS VivoBook 15K513 is indeed a great option if you guys are looking for a laptop which not only looks great aesthetically but super functional as well. I love the decision that ASUS went by having a dedicated graphics card as I did see a better workflow when it comes to video editing and the overall gameplay as well. And yes, it also comes with a great price. As the price here in Malaysia for this particular ASUS VivoBook 15K513 is going for 3,299 ringgit, and the ASUS VivoBook 14K413 is priced at 3,099 ringgit, and I'll leave links down below for you guys to get either one. Alright guys, with this, do let me know what you guys think of the ASUS VivoBook 15K513 and would you guys get it? Let me know at the comment section below. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give this video a nice big thumbs up. Like, share and subscribe to Adam Lobo TV. If you haven't done so, my name is Adam Lobo and I'll catch you guys in my next video.